So I am talking about mapping community connections in Poughkeepsie, New York. And um, just a little bit about myself to start is uh, my name is Ben Bachman and I'm a senior at Vassar. So I'm actually graduating in like a couple weeks here. Um, but I'm the president of a youth mappers chapter called Hudson Valley Mappers, um, which was started by Adele Birkenes in 2018. Um, and what I want to emphasize throughout this presentation is some of the work that we're doing in the Poughkeepsie community. Um, and to start, I think the main thing that I'm going to focus on in this presentation is actually a recent project that we've done um, with a local nonprofit. Um, Hudson Valley Mappers um, were kind of new on the, in, on the scene in terms of open street map and youth mappers. Uh, and we're definitely like learning, learning everything um, about you know how this all works and the technical stuff. I can't get as technical as the last presentation, but I think our strength is working with a lot of community organizations um, in Poughkeepsie to help them with their um, missions and goals. Um, so to that end, um, this spring we have been a part of the Middle Main Business Inventory. And that's helping a nonprofit organization called Hudson River Housing um, in Poughkeepsie. It's, it's an organization dedicated to affordable housing and housing access, um, also assisting homeless people in the city. Um, and what they do um, is they have, you know, in addition to their residential programs, they have a middle main initiative that works to strengthen and to preserve a strong, vibrant, and creative neighborhood in the heart of the city. Um, and the business inventory is part of the HRH's uh, Middle Main Initiative, and it's an annual survey of Main Street ground floor storefronts in the city. So this information is used to understand neighborhood changes, vacancy rates, and the current mix of businesses, and then it's turned around and used for advocacy by um, HRH. Um, so, We'll go to my next slide here. As, as a Youth Mappers chapter at Vassar, what we offer to um, HRH is the resources and kind of the volunteer power to get this uh, business inventory off the ground. And this year, um, we had been using Survey123, which is, you know, Esri in the past. Um, and this year, as part of our um, well, actually, shout out to Adele and the USAID um, program, internship program for this. Um, we were introduced to um, Kobo Toolbox, which is an open source uh, data collection tool. Um, and we built our survey this year using Kobo Toolbox to conduct the middle main business inventory. Um, so on the 7th of May, just a couple weeks ago, we went out and did two hours of data collection. Um, we had seven volunteers, some of them from Hudson for Housing, some of them Vassar faculty, um, most of them students. Um, and we basically accomplished um, our, our goal for the day, which was to survey all of the ground, um, ground level storefronts in Middle Maine in Poughkeepsie. And it was the first time this had been done since February 2020. Um, so this here is. Um, on the last slide, you saw the pictures of kind of our process and what it looked like in the field. And then this is what Code, Kobo produces um, in the end. Uh, so we're still in the middle of kind of bringing this data set and make, cleaning it up and making it look nice for um, Hudson for Housing. Um, and it's the end of the school year for us. So a lot of people are very, very busy. Um, but what I wanted to bring to this particular presentation are some ideas that you know come to my mind as someone who's you know very much new to like a lot of the technical stuff in OSM, um, and you know to explain that I guess I'll say is we have all of this data on businesses in Poughkeepsie, we know where they are, um, and we know how they've changed over time. Um, but I think you know what isn't as clear to me as someone who's new is how that could be put into like a multi-year kind of comprehensive data set um, where people can kind of go back, not only see what the community looks like now, but also what it looked like in the past. 
Um, in addition, um, next step for a project like this are developing work workflows for future Vassar students to kind of replicate and adapt the me methodology that we've used in the future. Um, and then lastly, I think this is a big um, benefit of using Kobo, um, is the ability to share mapping tools and capacity with community members. Um, because it's open source and in that, you know, using Kobo, we don't have to go through the Vassar um, ArcGIS online account and all that stuff. It makes it a lot easier to make this work accessible for organizations that are looking to do similar things. Um, and so there are some other projects that we have um, as Hudson Valley Mappers. Um, we work with Poughkeepsie High School students. Um, we're making a story map and having people respond to a survey. Um, that's just a quick highlight that I wanted to give. Um, and then we have some other projects, including collaborating with a nonprofit in Poughkeepsie called Celebrating the African Spirit. And you know, they're another group that's working with high school students and trying to tell kind of hidden histories of Poughkeepsie with maps, things that you know aren't necessarily always visible in the landscape. Um, and then last spring, we developed a COVID-19 community resources map. Um, another shout out to Adele for working on that. Uh, but I'll wrap up here just by showing you all um, some contact information uh, for Hudson Valley Mappers. Um, I'm the president, but I'm graduating very soon. So next year's president is uh, Stephanie Ingraldi. Um, and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at HVM Vassar. 